Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of Eating on a Budget. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. You're now one of the people and I'm here for you. In most cases, trying foods for you so you don't have to. But today, we're making a budget meal. And let me explain the budget meals that I make because there's always that one person that's got to tell everyone that they could eat the whole dish by themselves. And there's nothing wrong with that. They're very fortunate to be able to eat all they want. But they're certainly not going to get a participation trophy for me for being a glutton. But all jokes aside, some people aren't nearly as fortunate as others who don't know what, when, or if they're going to have a next meal. So the purpose of these budget videos is to try to create recipes and ideas that are hopefully inexpensive enough that those less fortunate than others are able to at least eat. In most cases, the serving sizes are not huge. There's only enough food for one serving per person depending on the size of your family. But they'll have a warm, nutritious, delicious meal in their stomach. And something in your stomach is certainly better than an empty stomach. But the ironic thing I found out through the comments of these videos is whether you're struggling to eat with your last buck or you're just trying to save a buck, people like these meals because they're inexpensive, they're delicious, and they're easy to make. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious, nutritious, and filling five ingredient chicken pot pie for $8.43 or $1.05 per serving. Start it off with the most expensive ingredient in this pot pie, a $4.50 rotisserie chicken. It's gonna take a little bit more effort, but you can get a rotisserie chicken cheaper than the $4.50. Go to the grocery store early in the morning between seven and 9 a.m. and you're likely to find a leftover chilled rotisserie chicken from the day before that's been marked down for quick sale or you can ask the person in the deli if they have any leftover. Because in most grocery stores, they use the leftover rotisserie chicken to make chicken salad. So if they have too many of them, they're more than likely gonna give you a discount just to get rid of it instead of throwing it away. And the same thing with fresh chicken. If you don't wanna get a rotisserie chicken, again, go to the grocery store early in the morning and look for whole or individual pieces of chicken that have been marked down for quick sale. So take your rotisserie chicken and pull all the meat off the bones and shred it or chop it however you like it. I like big chunks of chicken in my pot pie, so we shredded it in big chunks. And then save the bones and skin to make a chicken stock with that you can freeze. Or in our case, we eat the skin as we pull the chicken. When you're struggling for meal to meal, calories are very important. Which brings me to another point. Save all the fat and drippings in the rotisserie chicken container and either mix them with the chicken bones and skin for stock or mix them with the meat you pulled for the pot pie, which is what we did. They add a ton of flavor and calories. Next, add a can of diced potatoes that have been very well drained, and these only cost 62 cents. Next, add a 12 ounce bag of frozen mixed vegetables, which costs exactly $1. And you can use any kind of vegetables you like in your pot pie. You don't have to use the ones I'm using. Follow the vegetables up with a family sized can of cream of whatever kind of soup you like. I'm using cream of mushroom soup. You can use cream of chicken soup, cream of celery soup, cream of asparagus soup, cream of cream soup. I don't care. Use what you like. You're the one that's gonna be eating it. And then season the mixture however you like. I'm using just a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic and some poultry seasoning. Just whatever you use, be easy on the salt because the rotisserie chicken and the can of condensed soup already has a good amount of sodium. Now give it all a good mix. And if you've noticed, I haven't added any water to the condensed soup. And that's because as the frozen vegetables cook, they'll produce a lot of liquid. If you want your pot pie filling a little bit more on the soupy side, add a little bit of milk or water. And then cover with a piece of aluminum foil and place it into a 350 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes or until it's heated through. You're really just trying to heat everything up and you don't want to overcook the chicken and make it stringy. That is, of course, unless you like stringy chicken. Once your chicken pot pie is thoroughly heated through, give it another good mix. And then roll out an eight pack of buttery and flaky crescent rolls 
which only costs 93 cents. But ensure you don't do what I did and let the crescent roll sit out on the warm counter while you're preparing the rest of the pot pie. Otherwise, it'll be extremely hard to unroll onto the pot pie. Keep the roll of crescent rolls in the refrigerator to keep them nice and cold, which makes them a lot easier to unroll. Adjust the temperature according to the directions on the crescent rolls and bake uncovered according to the directions or until they're nice and golden brown. I've tried several other things for the crust for the pot pie and in my opinion, the crescent rolls are by far the best crust for the pot pies. The crescents are light, buttery, and flaky. Everything you want in a crust for a pot pie, but you can use biscuits or bisquick or whatever else you want for the crust. The biscuits and the bisquick are just a little bit too heavy for me. Once you finish cooking the pot pie according to the crescent's directions and the crust is nice and golden brown and the filling is nice and bubbly, let it rest for about 10 minutes before cutting into it. And then to me, each serving is one croissant plus the filling underneath of it, which like I said before, isn't really a huge serving, but it's a decent serving and it's filling and it's satisfying. You cut your serving size accordingly. So there you have it, a $1.05 serving of a creamy, savory meat and vegetable filled pot pie with an exceptionally delicious buttery flaky crispy crust now that's crispy wouldn't you say you got a spoonful of chicken and vegetables in every bite Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you soon.